Alright, welcome back. In this video you're going to see how to do the current circuit for your project. Uh, also, in the description there's a link to the GUI files, like I said. Uh, next video I'm actually going to go through that in detail and tell you uh, how to modify it for your needs. But uh, if you're already feeling like you can, just go ahead and have a crack at it. Otherwise, uh, hit subscribe and uh, follow along. Alright, we're going to need Voltage Pro. Source, AC current source. Now, in this program, you can't put CTs in, so I'll use this as a secondary circuit. So, on it, let's add some resistors. Let's wire it up. Now the reason why I have two in parallel, if one of these fail on any of these legs, uh, you won't open circuit the CT. So it's always a good idea to design it in such a way. So you don't want to open circuit CTs. If you open circuit CTs, it'll develop voltage and not current. So what we're going to do is measure the, the drop across this resistor. That is all right. Um, you need a simulation, so you put in this AC simulation, drag it in, change the properties 50, 55. Doesn't let you just do one. Don't ask me why, it doesn't let you apply. I will hit that run, call it something done. This one, apply, that's the, that's the voltage that's dropped over those two resistors. Remember resistors in uh, parallel always get smaller. So we'll change the properties of this one, let's make this one ohm, let's make it more stick and run it again you'll see it's dropped run it again that's really small isn't it all right let's up the up the current Source There you go. That's the secondary circuit of a CT designed. And now these two points here will go into the current the current inputs, the I inputs on the energy metering IC. Alright, the most important thing to think about when you're selecting your CT is the primary current and the secondary current. So when there's 15 amps flowing, there's 30 milliamps flowing in the secondary side. Now, that's why I made this value 30 milliamps. So make this value whatever the current that is flowing in your secondary circuit. Alright? That's it for the current circuit. 